All right, hey everybody, so what I'm about to show you is something that is best done with two people. Now, sometimes circumstances dictate what you gotta do, so this is how you can do it if you're on your own, if you're solo out in the field. This is how you can bag a venomous snake safely. So before I show you the clip, I will add that this is something that you shouldn't necessarily be doing just for fun, okay? You should have a good reason for bagging up and uh, transporting a venomous snake. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm making a video that you guys are gonna see pretty soon of, uh, every water snake species in the Mid-South versus a cotton mouth so you can learn to identify them all. And uh, I needed to transport the snake over to the water snakes so I could make the video and teach people about it. This was not just me going out in the field playing with venomous snakes for the sake of playing with them. So I hope you all enjoy the video. I hope you find it entertaining. I don't recommend you replicate it unless you really know your snakes and know what you're doing like I do and you have a good reason for it. But yeah, so uh, here is bagging a cotton mouth. Okay, so the last step to this equation is to get the snake that so many people fear, and I already see one, so let's go get it. All right, here he is. This snake is the infamous and unrightfully hated cottonmouth. And that right there is why they're called a cottonmouth. So let's go ahead and get this snake, bag him up, then we'll compare all the other mimics of this species that everybody gets wrong when they're identifying. And I'll show you the difference. The mighty king of the swamp. The cottonmouth. All right, let's get the snake bagged up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, this is gonna be bagging a cottonmouth with uh, a pillowcase, okay? That's what most herpetologists use when they're trying to capture a snake, venomous or not, pillowcase. No big deal, okay? So I'm gonna need another stick for this. So basically what's gonna happen, I give me another stick like this. Got me my pillowcase here. I'm gonna lie the pillowcase on the ground like that. Take the stick, prop the pillowcase open, like so. Okay, now, all you gotta do is guide the snake in, and chances are, once he sees there's a hole, he's probably gonna go in, and my job will be almost done. So, enter the bag. No, no, ah, jeez. Stay over there. No, don't come here. I'm trying to catch you. It's important to keep in mind that I am a trained expert, okay? So, just remember that. Come here, no! Just relax, dude, relax. Okay, in. In. Do I need to count? Just get, get, get in the, get in the bag. He's in the bag. Okay, so now, <laughs> next step. Snake hook, down. I see his head, it's right there. Take your snake hook, hold it down. Notice this hook right here is causing a barrier, okay? So he cannot get past this hook into my hands. Tighten it up. So he's right here, he can't get to me. Now I just gotta twist her up. You know, always make sure I'm not touching my hands onto the, you know, the bag where the snake is because keep in mind, they can bite through bags. So you don't want to put your hands, even if he's in a bag, you want to keep your hands away from it. So, you know, I'm just going to tie him up like so. All right, there we go. Got a nice uh, knot and we got a cotton mouth. Okay, so now if I hold this bag above the knot and not below it, I'll be fine, he's not gonna get me, as long as I keep my hands and any other body parts away from here, because he can sense my heat signature through this. So I just hold him here and everything's fine. Cool, let's get the other water snakes out and uh, compare them all, so, cotton mouth. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, once again, I don't recommend that you try to replicate this unless you have a good reason for it and you know what you're doing, like I do. As always, the cottonmouth was released back into the wild directly following filming for the video. So he's back out in the swamp doing his own thing, just like the rest of the water snakes are as well. But yeah, I thought that was something you guys might find fun and entertaining to watch. So uh, yeah, I'll see you all on the next video.